All right, guys, welcome to another episode of One Beer Leads to Another. We are here in the late afternoon in Temecula, California, and we are going to go in and check out Black Market Brewing Company. Let's go in and see what they got on tap. Okay guys, so we are inside here in Black Market, and it's a really cool space. You can see they have tabletop shuffleboard. There's the kitchen. Um, they have a neat little California, San Francisco cable car up there. They have foosball. But what I really wanted to show was the different beers they have because they actually have unique names. They have the No Equis, Vice Dos Equis, Mexican Lager. They, I got the, they call me Fritz, German Lager. Uh, they have the Dead Drop Czech Pilsner. I think that's a reference to the Cold War. Um, they have, what else did I like? Oh, they have the Freed Brittany Blonde Ale. They have Andy Where's Your Truzers Hazy IPA. Uh, what else? Oh, they have Too Many Dicks. New England, New Zealand IPA. I got that in honor of Stephen Keevil, our big IPA fan. I was going to get the American Stout, but then they have a white coffee stout, which I know our founder and mentor, Donald Arthur Champley, will be greatly interested in. It's Nitro Great White Buffalo. So we're going to try that, but very, very cool space. All right, guys, I am already impressed with this black market place. It's a, it's a great space. They got a great selection of beers. They have three whole menus of their in-house beer, and then they have the menu of their guest beers. Um, I'm going to start with number 32. Uh, Call Me Fr I had to write these down. Call Me Fritz, which is their German Pilsner. You know, I have a soft spot for the Germans, despite, you know, their... Uh, what, what should we say? Their, their overzealousness in the 20th century. But anyways, um, this is a nice German Pilsner. You can see the color there. It's a nice yellow color. Eh, yeah, nothing remarkable, I would say. I shouldn't say that because I guess you could screw up a Pilsner. But, yeah, it's a... It's well done. It's a good German Pilsner. Um, I would give that three and a half Champleys. Okay, sticking sticking with Deutschland, um, I got the Hefeweizen. This is called the Hush Hush Hefeweizen. I really had to resist the urge to get the Britney Spears Blondale, uh, Freed Britney, but I, I didn't do that. I couldn't do that to you, my faithful viewers. Um, anyways, nice little fruity nose on the Hefeweizen. Yep, another another solid beer. Didn't I, I don't know if I would expect a Hefeweizen to blow my socks off. Probably not. But um, that was another solid three and a half Champlain's. Okay, they had a slew of IPAs here. Uh, they uh, had double IPAs. Um, I got this partly because of the name um, and partly because it's a New Zealand IPA. I, of course, always de de dedicate our hazy IPAs to regular viewer Stephen Keeble. Um, and this is by no means a commentary on Steve Stephen Keeble and his after hours proclivities. Uh, but this beer is called Too Many Dicks which I guess there's a lot of guys named Dick in uh, New Zealand, but... Oh, it's got a nice little fruity nose. You can see it's got a nice little hazy color on it there. That's really good. It's not overpowering. Uh, you definitely get the hazy IPA. You don't get the, like, aftertaste of an IPA, that sort of dank aftertaste on the back of your tongue. I'm going to go ahead and give that four Champleys. Okay, last up here is the beer I've most been looking forward to drinking, and this is actually a white 
coffee stout. You know I'm a big fan of coffee stouts. You know that our founder and mentor, Donald Arthur Champley of Antioch, Illinois, is a big fan of the stouts, especially the cask age stouts. But um, I wanted to give this a try. It does not have a traditional stout nose on it. I guess I wouldn't expect it to. I, you know, I'm gonna say, I don't think I've ever had a white stout before, but I could be wrong about that. So. I don't know quite what to make of that. Um, it's interesting. I wouldn't say it's bad. I wouldn't say it's great. I think I probably psyched myself up too much to really love this beer. And it's not a bad beer. It's it, like like the others, the Hefeweizens and the, and the Pills. It's, it's an okay middle of the road beer. I had really expected this to be much better, but that's my anticipation, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna give this a solid three and a half champlets. Okay, guys, I had to redeem our founder, Donald Arthur Champlay, and I got the American Stout. Uh, the problem with the American Stout is it's called McLovin, and uh, George, my son, will love this. I had to have that reference explained to me. Um, it's some movie that, you know, wasn't made in the 1960s, so I've never seen it. But anyways, um, this is the American Stout. I actually tried it at the bar. So this isn't my really my first taste, but got a nice traditional coffee stout nose to it, completely different from the white stout. But again, I you know I didn't know what to expect with the with the white stout. So anyways, this is more in my comfort zone, as people would say. Um, so. That's what the Champers is looking for, right there. That is it. I'm, it's a really good traditional, I know that might be boring, it's a really traditional, flavorful coffee stout. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give it four and a half Champlays. Three, two, go. All right guys, so I'm giving three thumbs up. <laughs> to Black Market Brewing Company because even though the white stout disappointed or wasn't what I expected, the black stout and the other beers were good. But then the food came and this is what, for those of you that didn't grow up in upstate New York, this is called cup pepperoni. And it's cut smaller and thinner and it, and it curls up and crunches when you bite into it. It is the Achilles heel, the kryptonite, uh, whatever term you want to use for Mark Anthony Savino, otherwise known as the cooch. Um, anyways, uh, other than the birthday party that's here, because you should never bring children. I guess what you guys want. Because you should never bring children to a brewery. Other than the birthday party. I love this place. It's a great spot. I'm going to give it two thumbs up. Um, so remember, if you like the videos, hit the like button. And if you really like my videos, go ahead and become a subscriber. And we will see you, hopefully without small children, down the road at another brewery on another edition of One Beer Leads to Another.